I want to share with you about a, a wonderful truth concerning how we can see God when God seems to be very quiet upon our prayer. Thus, I have entitled this sermon, When Jesus Isn't Answering. Yes, you're hearing it right. When Jesus isn't answering. Turn with me to Matthew chapter 15. Let me read to you. Leaving that place, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him, crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is suffering terribly from demon possession. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away for she keeps crying out after us. เยซูดีโทอยะมาถ่วยเวตูรุมโยเนซีรอมโยอีเจละตุจ้วรอมเลคานะอมโยตะมีผิดตอไม่มาเตียวดีโทเนมาถ่วละเวดาเวอีตา
ကျွန်တော်တို့အဆုတ်တွေကွဲအတွက်တွေအောနေတလားလို့တော့မခံစားရပြီမဲ့လေဖျားသခင်ကကျွန်တော်တို့ကိုကယူမစိုက်တဲ
in His best intention, sometimes He doesn't reveal everything to us, leaving room enough for us to have faith in Him, to believe in His character that is never changing. And here, here was a Canaanite woman from that vicinity who came to him crying out, Lord, son of David. Oh, wow. Did you just hear what he, what he said to the Lord? She said, Lord, son of David. So this woman obviously knew who Jesus was. In fact, he knew Jesus as no other Jews did. Many of the Jewish people in Jesus' days, they did not believe in him. ရေရှုကိုမေရှီယာဖြစ်ယုံကြည်ကြတာမဟုတ်ဘူးဒါပေမဲ့ဒီအမျိုးသမီယာယုံကြည်တယ်ဒီဒီဒီဒီဒီ
So some, some Gentiles, they got healed through Jesus' ministry, but they did not get healed in Gentile territory. They got healed in Israel as they visited. Israel the Holy Land to see Jesus. But this was, but this is a very unique case because the healing happened in a far, far away land, away, away from the promised land. You see, God's promise, after it's been given to you, sometimes you feel like you're so distant from its fulfillment. It's impossible. The word is impossible. You know that this is impossible. It's impossible for this to happen in my life, for God's promise to come true. Impossible in my case. You know, there is no land too distant, even though you are away from the promised land. You're never away, too far away from the promiser. Jesus is the promise keeper. Once he promises something to you, he's going to follow through. And Lord, son of David, he even, he even called Jesus the son of David. He wasn't an Israelite. She wasn't at all, and her family neither. Israel Yet she called, she knew that Jesus was the son of David, the fulfillment of the long awaited messianic promise. With all the limited knowledge she could get herself access to, yet she made use and maximized the little knowledge she had to worship Jesus. You don't have to know it all. You don't have to have read the whole entire Bible and to understand it. You don't even have to go to any seminary. With all the little knowledge you've already gained, as long as you are hungry and thirsty after salvation, after the truth, after the Word of God. <laughs> These are enough knowledge for you to get near to God and approach His throne and worship at His feet. Lord son of David, have mercy on me, she said. Have mercy on her? She wasn't, she wasn't the one who was sick, but her daughter was. Her daughter was suffering terribly from demon possession. So it wasn't this woman, but her daughter. And yet, 
when she approached Jesus, she said, have mercy on me, not on, not on my daughter only, but have mercy on me first. That is true intercession. When you adopt somebody else's burden to become your own, when you make other people's problems your problems in the presence of God, that is intercession and there is power in true intercession. You know the greatest of faith, Jesus hereby later on, Jesus would praise her for having such a great faith. Never before, never before had Jesus made such a compliment. Yes, once he's, Jesus said to a certain official, an Italian, uh, from an Italian reg regiment, he spoke about a, sol a soldier who interceded for his servant. And Jesus gave a long distance miracle in the end. And yet, even then, Jesus only praised him to other people. Never did Jesus praise him directly to the man. Dima, di amyo the mia, Yeshu Kredoga, a soma, young jijin, a long jide, amyo the mi so biro, chimanke, daha, Yeshu Kredo, the kama, ma bio pure, zagapia day. The chain no one a whole day, the edily no, daka, ตะมุเตยาวก็ตุ้ยเงยดาตั่วโกซาปิ๊บิ๊ดอยิชูก็ฤลูฉีมวนเคเดยงจีจินจี้เดดูซูปิ๊ดอดาเบเมไอ้
That's the one good thing I could name. One good thing through suffering. Da Pinswado Widana Kanzare Akama. The Kurido Kangzongdo Yad Kupyabare. And verse 23, Jesus did not answer a word. What a cold response. This is so unlikely when the word, Jesus is the word, remember? The Bible says in John chapter 1, in the beginning was the word, the word was with God, the word was God, and the word came in the flesh, and that is Jesus Christ. When the word did not say a word, then there must be something unspeakable that God is what was doing. And you the me at the Lopioni we make ye sugar to come up yam a pewle. Daga no go bad do and in a young old two sen a yap your bar. Oh day, ye should quit doga, no go bad do pide, surago, sure and crew, can ye take and get the male pure. Rook no go bad do pide, ye sugar, the coma ma bureau boosura. Paya the king and in a bureau mayare a ya a chu. Low sound need or jump shed. In this woman's heart, Jesus did not answer a word. He seemed to be quiet, quiet at all upon her requests, upon her efforts, in fact, also upon her faith. But believe me, when you really have faith in Jesus, you will prevail. Things may not seem as you expect them to be. But if you have faith, you'll be able to see through anything and see the end of thing, and the end of thing is Jesus. Let's believe that Jesus will make true his word. Like Abraham, when he received the promise, he was already dead on the inside. He could never again. He could never again have a descendant. He had already passed the stage of stage for that. Yet he could see the end. He knew that he would have a son. He knew because God said so. Faith helps us see the end of things or the end of the road. We do not know necessarily how we could get there. The steps could be totally or somewhat hidden from us. But if God speaks so, it will happen so. Jesus did not answer a word, but that did not waver the woman. When the word doesn't say a word, then mark this down. Then he's actually testing your faith and mine. When God seems to be very quiet upon us and upon our prayer, 
one thing for sure, then He is testing our faith. He's testing your faith. You must prevail because faith prevails. Faith sees the end of the road. And the end of the road is called Jesus. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away for she keeps crying out after us. The words, send her away here, implies that, Lord, send her away, give to her, give her what she's come for, so that we could get rid of her. This is not a compassionate prayer. So the, 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 the disciples made a supplication to Jesus. They made a request. In order to get rid of her as quickly as possible, give her what she's wanted. So that she would bother us no more. So that she will not annoy us anymore. Send her away already. Even though it's not out of compassion, yet this is still considered a prayer. It still falls under the category of intercession. And it is heard. Your intercession doesn't have to be perfect. Sometimes you can be moved by anger or you feel annoyed by certain problems. Even then, Jesus hears you. He may not always listen to you, but He will hear you for sure, all right? He will hear you. And He'll answer that which is according to His will. But any supplication, every intercession will reach God's desk. Even though he's quiet about it, wait on him because he knows what to do. He knows better than you and I what he should do. Send her away already. Get her what she wants so that she can Leave us for good. And the that's exactly what Jesus was about to do. Jesus was about to give her the miracle she needed, the miracle she came for. He answered. Verse 24. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Jesus explained himself to the woman, woman, you know, it is not yet my time to do this for you. For my focus, the focus of Jesus' earthly ministry was to the Jewish people. Very soon though, 
maybe months or weeks later, as Jesus would go up the cross, and then afterwards, He would be resurrected after the third day of His death, and He would be ascended to heaven, then, then, the New Testament church would continue His work. Then they would take Jesus' word to go to the ends of earth and bring the gospel and the gospel will be brought to this woman if she could wait just for another few weeks. But then this woman, not that she wasn't patient, but she knew that if Jesus wanted to heal her daughter right now, He's the Lord of all timing. He's the Lord of the Sabbath. The woman could see beyond whatever timing that was available, whatever means that was available, the woman could see through it all and, and saw that Jesus was the Lord of all. So so the woman came and knelt before him instead of going away, being disappointed. First twenty-five says that the woman actually came. The woman approached him even more, drew nearer to him, and knelt before him to worship him as he said, Lord, help me. When the Lord isn't answering, when Jesus seems to be very quiet upon your prayers, this is what you ought to do. Just keep drawing near to Him and worshipping. Let me repeat, when God seems to be absent or ignorant or distant, then keep drawing near to Him. Don't leave him. This woman didn't do that. This woman came nearer. Came closer and knelt before him. When Jesus isn't answering, keep drawing near and worshipping. And then she said, Lord, help me. That's what she cried out. What a handy prayer, wasn't it? Oh, the prayer, Lord, help me, just these three words, Lord, help me. This is not the kind of prayer that you go to a, your prayer closet and pray for hours. This is not the kind of prayer that takes a lot of time. This is a prayer that is spontaneous. Instantaneous. This is a prayer that is that 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 springs out of your spirit that is in need. Instantaneous. 
You just want to cry out to the Lord and say instantly, Lord, help me. You could say this prayer when you are in danger, for instance. When you sense that you are in danger or your loved ones are. Or when you worry, when you're concerned about something or before you give labor to your children. ဒီဆုတောင်းချက်မျိုးကသင့်ဘဝတတာတဲ့မှာချိန်မိမိတင်တောင်းနိုင်တယ်ဒုက္ခရင်းနဲ့ကြုံရတဲ့ခါမတော
Suri Pong Zam Yu ne. In fact, I suspect that Jesus' tone, the tone of his voice was gentle and faith in fighting. Yeshu ye zagada na teke go nunya ni le melu chano miene chano thene. Eri atwa tu Yeshu pio lai de zagaga amio de mi opowi yom jijen tobo ye atwa pila zile. In other words, what Jesus was saying goes like this. Dear woman, it is not right. I'm sent to go bless my father's children. They're the chosen nation. It's not right to take their bread. For instance, it's never right to take the bread of the, of the children and toss it to the dogs. ဖေခမီးတော့ဖရားကငါကိုစေလို့တာဤတွေလာလူတွေအတွက်ဖြစ်တယ်အခုလောလောစေမှာသူတို့ကိုအမှုဆောင်ပို့ရန်အတွက်
And then it's her turn to convey her point. And Jesus, of course, would understand her because Jesus is not only all-knowing, He is caring. That Jesus answered, verse 28. Woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. Wow! Wow. This is the praise that Jesus gave directly to her. It's never happened. And it rarely happened in Jesus' ministry. Jesus is very careful about giving compliments not because he was stingy about this matter, but because he was very, very much of objective when he was giving someone an affirmation. And Jesus, even the Son of God, chose to praise the lady and said, You have great faith. Why? Why her faith was great? Because her faith was unlikely. She was a Canaanite woman. She didn't have the the privilege she didn't even have she didn't have the the privilege that the jewish people had she didn't have the the law she didn't have the revelation of the prophets she didn't have the teachers of the word she didn't have any revival. No time She didn't have anything. That the Jews could get their hands on easily. So that made her faith so unlikely. For her to be able to believe Jesus so strongly, that was not common. In fact, that was quite impossible in her situation. So her faith was great for, for these reasons, one being unlikely, another one being humble. She was so humble. Even when she was somehow likened to a dog, she didn't get, she didn't take offense. If we were her in her shoe, maybe we would be very angry and we would be very mad and said, oh, you don't want to give me what I want, it's okay. 
But to insult me, you don't have to do that. Chenoru da so dekhe sei so ma no. Cheno tao na ma pe ya de. Ta be me nga ngu ro so ga ba in kwe mi shi bu so pian pyo ma. We would throw our face away and leave Jesus and give her and show him our backs. But that's not what she what this woman did. She was humble enough to say, "Okay, if I were a dog, let me be your favorite one then." She was clever. That's why her faith was something else. And her faith wasn't giving up. It wasn't bendable. She didn't easily throw the white towel in the ring. And finally, her faith was receiving. And she could receive what she had hoped for and what she had come for. That made her faith, that makes her faith amazing. You know when Jesus isn't answering you, do you know that he's actually enlarging your faith from being small to being great? Yeah, when Jesus seems to be quiet, even too quiet, not only that he's testing your faith, but he probably is enlarging it. He's blowing it up. He's pumping it. You don't have to pump your faith. Let him do Let him do the job. The Holy Spirit is, is upsizing and upgrading your faith from being tiny and insignificant to becoming great enough to move the mountains. So if you must wait, then wait a bit because it's going to come back to you, be returned to you with all its interests. Not only the capital, but with all its wonderful interests, God hasn't forgotten you. When you pray and you don't hear anything, you don't see anything. Nothing is happening. Keep waiting. Keep drawing near to Him. Keep approaching the throne and keep worshipping because you know that your faith will get you somewhere. Faith sees the ends of the journey. <laughs> Faith sees the beginning, for faith is the evidence of things unseen and the foundation of all things hoped for. It is the beginning and it is also the end. You know when there is no sign from heaven, there's no miracle as you are expecting it to come quickly to rescue you, do know one thing, that He is keeping that faith and in His good time, He's going to return it in such a fashion 
that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind has conceived what the Lord has prepared and is preparing you. Then Lojane Yari, then Town Sore Yari, Mapilare, a Kama, say them a jab and it's a young jiva. Then young jijene, a song did I on Duame, so ye. The name of Piak and Deo Piam Pilare Piga, Lumia Sipimimia, Napi Maja, say in a lump in Majensi, Bude Laudeti, Gimare Yari Pilene. As he seems to be quiet in your life, he is actually preparing such things to come your way in due time. Your faith will prevail in the end. He is enlarging it now because it's not enough. Then go Piar Kinga, a Kuchema, Yom Jijene, go Cheb in it. Bajan lays or a Kun, Leshi sheet had a Yom Jijena, Malong Lao Debu. With that faith that you are showing now, for you to receive your the miracle you are expecting, God must have you wait a bit until that faith is ripe. Piar Kinga. Then machine a young ji chinga, then it at what thin low and it in a male like canago yabu yandra. Can I think of some kind heart? A song kind of chima, then young ji jingo, jima la bu yandra to be in some upset. Large enough, it will move the mountains. Then young ji jinga, jima la re kama, down nego then shwin I lay me. And it will move the nations. Naya nego, then hap young lazy lay me. A miracle is on the way to you. You who are praying earnestly, who are expecting God to answer, because He will. And I prophesy in Jesus' name that you shall not pray in vain. Your tears have not been dropped. In vain, as the snow that comes down from the heaven to the earth will never return there. As the rain that comes upon the ground make it wet. It will not. It will do what God says it must do. To the soil that it's been poured unto. The same goes for you. Your prayer isn't in vain and your tears for your nations, for your nation, your tears for your family, for your future. They are counted by the Lord every day and they will be returned with all miraculous interest. In God's time. Jesus loves you. Do you love him too? If you do love him, right now, I want you to believe without seeing, but believe by hearing. If you love him, sing this very simple song with me as you commit your heart to the Lord and commit your spirit to continue to intercede for your nation and family, for your future and for the church. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Though the seasons may change, still your love will remain. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. 
Jesus, I love you. Hear the cry of my heart. Know every word is true. Jesus, I love you. When Jesus is an answering, do you still love him? If you do, sing with me. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Though the seasons may change, still your love will remain. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. the cry of my heart know every word is true Jesus I love you sometimes when the word doesn't say a word maybe there are unspeakable words I want you and I to sing this song once again, then let's just flow into the wordless worship in the language of the Spirit. Let's just worship Jesus. When He's not answering, all we, we could be downloading, downloading His heart in our spirit. In order for us to understand someday better, download first. Download the Spirit first. Download In your soul. In your innermost being. And then you'll understand. You'll walk in the interpretation of it. Each day, each month, each year, as you see, the Lord is going to fulfill His promises. Let's sing this song with me. And let's just tap into the wordless worship, the human, humanly wordless worship. But angelic presence is here as we sing in the Spirit and reach God's desk with our supplication as we, as we groan without words, without human words. The Father understands what the Spirit is interceding through us. For our nation, for our people, for our loved ones and family, the church and our future. Hallelujah. Jesus, I love you. Lift up your hands with me. Come on. Jesus, I love you. Though the seasons may change, your love will remain. 
Though the seasons may change, still your love will remain. Jesus, I love you. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Hear the cry of my heart. Hear the cry of my heart. No, every word is true. Jesus, I love you. Hear the cry of my heart. Hear the cry of my spirit, Lord. Hear the cry of my heart. No, every word is true. Jesus, I love you. Hear the cry of my heart. Hear the cry of heart no every word is true Jesus I love are you ready lift up your hands oh Ramaya Marana Naya Sanna Nana Maya Sih Iyana Lama Ya Sanna Nana Mumana Lama Ya Sih Iyana Lama Ya Sanna Nana Maya Ramata Kaya So Iyana Lama Lama Ya So Nina Rama Hana Nia Raya Hana Nina Rama Ya So Lift up your head, lift up your eyes. Oh, Ramaya show in a yes, he had a lamaya, Sanna, a maya, a lamaya, Sanna, a ramo, he had a lamaya, Sanna, a maya, a lamaya, Sanna, a maya, 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 a Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Though the seasons may change, Still your love will remain Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Jesus I love you Hear the cry of my heart No every word is true Jesus I love you Hear the cry of my heart Hear the cry of my heart No every word is true Jesus I love you Hear the cry of my heart No every word is true Jesus, I love you Amen Lord bless Myanmar And make it a missionary nation through suffering and persecution, I know that you are enlarging the faith of the church. You're testing the faith of believers. And they shall come out as victors and conquerors. I pray that every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus is Lord there in the nation that you have chosen. And I pray, Father, that all your people, your bride, 
the Bride of Christ in Burma, in Myanmar, will keep drawing near, will keep worshiping instead of leaving you, abandoning the faith. But they will be even made stronger. I prophesy that you will be a missionary nation. And out of you will come out evangelists, teachers, pastors, even apostles and prophets. You shall be anointed that land of miracles, the land of the dark, will once again see the light. I prophesy there will be spiritual and religious freedom. I pray that things will turn around in due time. Right now, the tears of the church are being stored, are being stored in your care. The time will come. When they'll all be returned on earth in Myanmar as a revival as never seen before. I prophesy this in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God bless you. We miss you and we keep praying with you and standing with you from here. Indonesia loves you. Rose of Sharon Church, the church that I lead, we love you. Hope we can be, we hope we can be resumed to meet each other again and to do something great in God's time. Love you. God bless you.